right then guys, Titanium. We are going to need the capo on fret 3 for this song. All right. I mean, if you're on an electric guitar instead of an acoustic, then you can play it up here and you have delay on, power chords for the chorus, and that sounds great. That's what I do when I play in a live band. But if you're doing it acoustically, then you do need capo on fret 3, ideally, okay? Because then you can sort of play everything in one go. All right, now we have three parts to learn. All right, the verse part is the hardest bit because obviously we have this picking part. Okay, but uh, the chorus and the build up is just a couple of chords, all right? So let's dive straight into the verse. We'll learn the hard bit first, all right? And then we'll do the chords afterwards. So you can do this uh, one of two ways, all right? You can either sort of palm mute, which means you put your hand against the strings as you play like this. Okay, which kind of sounds more like the song, but then it's quite quiet on an acoustic, right? So it's up to you. Uh, as I did in the intro, you can play it open, but it's the same thing, all right? Just open string, so. Okay, which sounds louder, but obviously not quite as true to the song. So it's totally up to you. I'm going to teach you without the palm mute for today because it's probably a bit easier, a bit clearer to hear as well. So, first thing we need to do is get C major ready, okay? The C major shape is where we're going to base the first bit off, all right? So, uh, first thing we do is we pick the A string and the D string Okay, at the same time, you could just do the A string, but I, I like to do both, all right? Then the G string, and then we're gonna actually put finger four down here, third fret from the cap on the B string, right? Okay, now we're gonna pick down, down, up, all right? The reason we're gonna go up is because we need to go down again, on the G string. Two at the same time. G, B string. G, E string. G, B string. All right. So we have a little pattern here. We have G string, B string, G string, E string, G string, B. So with that first bit, We do another G at the end. So one, two, three, four, two, three, and again, and again, and one more time. Okay, now what we're going to have to do is go to it's sort of like a a G major with B in the bass, so it's kind of like this chord, okay, but we don't play G in the bass, we have B in the bass. Yeah, so we've gone from C to G with B in the bass, all right. But we're gonna have, so essentially from our C shape, finger two has moved up to the A string. So finger two is second fret from the capo. I want you to keep your finger one still in the same place. So that's first fret on the B string from the capo, right? Okay, so that's kind of your shape. And again, we are going to use the fourth finger on this third fret of the B string, okay, to help with the melody. Okay, uh, for this chord, we don't use the high E string. Okay, we're just going to alternate. All right, but the tricky thing about this is the first thing we're gonna have to actually pick from the bass note, which is the A string. You're gonna have to pick four strings all in one go. Like that. All right, so my advice is to sort of just sort of strum through from the A string to the B string. Just practice that. Bear in mind you got your fourth finger down initially. OK, 
okay? Then we're gonna pick down on the G string, like that. Then we alternate, double, double, double. So like this, one, two, three, four. Two, three, and again. So just as a little tip, when you come out that C chord, all right, C shapes like this, leave the pinky down as you change to the second chord. All right, so just leave it there like this. It's still there, because it comes in immediately, doesn't it? So we might as well leave that fourth finger there. Yeah. And again. Alright, so really take your time, read through the tab one note at a time, just make sure you got this, alright? The last shape uh, is going to be A minor. Okay, but this time... Uh, we're gonna have the pinky down again. All right, so we have, for this shape, instead of a minor, because again, the first finger is there, but we don't really use it for this chord, all right? So a minor is the chord, but the pinky is here, so we don't really need our first finger, all right? So you should have finger two, on D string, second fret, finger three on G string, second fret, and finger four once again on the B string, third fret. Now for this chord, it's a little bit more like the first one. So we're gonna play the first two strings, then the G string, B string, G string, E string, G string, B string, G string. Okay, but this chord happens twice, so. Yes, that makes sense. So it's the same thing twice. And then straight in again. Okay, but it's the same pattern as that first chord. If you're looking for the next big challenge, then sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to my backing tracks and all of my lessons. I teach you improvisation, soloing, advanced chords, theory, and techniques. All right, enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. So this is the first half of the verse that we've learned so far, all right? So why don't we just try and play this together and then we'll move on to the second half, which is slightly different, all right? So let's do it slowly. After four, play with me. One. Two, three, four. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Awesome. All right. If you struggle with that, just pause the video, keep working on it, all right, until you get it. Now, the second half of this verse is, is basically the same. Okay, so again, we start with the C chord, the same. This one's the same. So, it's only going to be on this A minor chord that's slightly different. All right, this one's trickier because it's just a little bit odd. The picking is a little offbeat, a little syncopated. All right, so this is the part you're gonna have to spend the longest on, most likely. All right, so uh, have a look at the tab for this. Okay, this is really gonna help. Looking at the downs and the ups, and just doing one note at a time until, it's, until it starts to become a little clearer, all right? So we start with A, then the G string, right? So two strings, then the G string, just like before. But this time we're going to have to jump from here to here immediately. So finger one is going to have to go on the E string first fret, right? So like this. And again. Okay, so my advice for that part, pick down on the B string and then come up on the E string. Okay. So after we play that top note, 
we're gonna go to the G string again, like so. And again. Okay, then E string, G string again, D string, G string, E string, G string. Then the first finger is going to come here on the B string first fret. So all together. And then it resets. Okay, back to our C chord, and the whole thing starts again. So really take your time with this uh, second part of the verse. All right, it really is a weird one. Just do it really slowly like this. Now, once you've paused the video and you've played through all of this and you're like, okay, I've pretty much got it now. I want you to try and play along with me in time, all right? Uh, we're gonna do it slowly though, so don't worry too much. Okay, just try and play along with me, see how far you get. Rewind the video, keep doing it. All right, so after four, let's play. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Goes round and round. Shout it out, but I can hear a word you say. I'm talking loud, not saying much. Don't worry if you accidentally hit uh, the D string instead of the G string or whatever. This is why it's good to try and hold the core, main chord shape as you're playing this, because then if you hit the wrong string, it just, it just kind of works anyway, right? So for example, if I played. See, that still sounded good, even though I changed from the G string to the D string at the end. Uh, let's try again with this one, same thing. D instead of the G string, sounded good. Okay, so as long as you hold that chord shape, the G and the D string kind of, you can do either and it sounds good and it works. All right. right, anyone that's got this far, give yourself a pat on the back, a round of applause for yourself because that was very difficult, all right? We just have some chords left to learn for the chorus. So the builder goes, I'm bulletproof, nothing to lose, fire Fire away, ricochet, you take your aim. Fire away, fire away. Me down, but I, and we build it up, but it's just the same four chords, all right? And then I'll show you those chords in a second. And then for the drop, we have the same chords, but it's more of a... There's this kind of busier rhythm for that drop when the drop hits in this song, right? So let's learn the chord shapes first. The first one's F. So have a look at the chord diagram, right? There's a few ways of playing this. You can do it this way, all right? You can do this way with the extra note, or you can do it as a bar chord. Now, personally, I like to do it with the thumb over. I find that easiest. Uh, do whatever's easiest for you. Try all three of those. Pause the video on each one. See which one you like best. All right, and we're just gonna go one, two, three, four. Then we go to G. Now G, you can play as a bar chord. You can play it like this, like this. However you wanna play your G chord is fine. All right, it's quite hard to change from F to G. So sometimes I just slide up and keep the bar chord. Some of you might want to do this Egypt G chord, right? So just do what's best for you. So all together, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we have E minor for four. Okay, so E minor is nice and easy. All right, pause the video if you don't know that, look at the diagram. And then we have A minor, which you've already kind of looked at. 
already. So all we're gonna do is strum down. So down, 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 down. Right, and we're just gonna build it up. We start quiet, so. to get louder. Yeah. Okay, then we get to the drop, which you're gonna play nice and loud. Now you might have noticed right at the end there, I hit the A minor just once, and then came into the drop. So that sounds quite cool, just playing the A minor once, and then you hit that drop, right? Now for the drop, we can play the same chord. Okay, but the rhythm is a bit more frantic. All right, now you don't have to do this. If you want, you can still go. You can still just do downs for the drop. Personally, I prefer to do the more frantic. Okay, so we're going to play down up up down down up 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 down up down 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 this first is going down up 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 Okay if you can do this continuously alright then the rhythm will be fine okay because that's kind of the main bulk of the rhythm alright we're just gonna accent certain parts of it. So for this rhythm we're gonna accent down up up down down up 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 down up up down but my hand's still moving to this shaka 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 right but you only hear down up up down down up down up down, down yeah the rest are called ghost strums where i move past the strings but i don't hit them okay so let's just do this really slowly all right for those of you that are really new to this kind of thing let's just do it so slowly that you don't even realize that the technique is there right so try and play this with me down up up down down up down up up down down up keep the arm moving like this down up up down down up down up up down down up down up up down All right, you can keep the fingers flat on the guitar just to get a scratch sound. Now try it again with me. We're gonna go a little faster. One, two, three, four. Down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up. Let's try a little faster. One, two, three, four. Down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Now let's try it faster. One, two, one, two, three, four. Down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. Okay, if you can do this, you're on the right tracks. Okay, that's a good, this is a good pace to practice the chords at if you get to this stage, all right? When that feels comfortable, you try and do a bit quicker. So let's try and do it this sort of speed. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Now, when if you get to this stage, awesome job. You'll also notice that I'm emphasizing that kick every beat. I emphasize where the kick is. Size in the beat. Okay, now when you, this feels good, you can just start to speed it up. And always come back to this for the verse. Alright guys, there we have it. You've learned the bulk of this song. There's one tiny thing to watch out for. When we have the kind of the bridge breakdown section, just watch out this happens. Stone hard, machine gun, running out the ones who run. Same thing. Stone hard as bulletproof cloud. Okay, so all I did there was I went F. G, skip the E minor, A minor. Okay, then you carry on as normal. So just in that one part, cloud, you're just gonna stay on the A minor, all right? But then after that, back to F, G, E minor, A minor. Okay, so just watch out for that. Um, it does sound much cooler if you stay on the A minor for that bit. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this lesson was helpful, not too tricky. I tried to simplify it and slow it down a little bit, all right? If you really struggle with it, you might just not be ready for this kind of difficulty yet, so don't feel bad, all right? That might be an easier version somewhere else on YouTube, but I tend to make it more intermediate level, okay? So please subscribe, hit the notification bell icon so you get notified with new videos, uh, comment, and I will see you in the next video.